Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new, hi, I'm Andrea. I have epilepsy and this is my channel talking about all things seizures and epilepsy. All right, so today I thought we'd talk about the postictal state of epilepsy and what it is and why it happens. All right, so technically it is the final stage of a seizure. And uh, today I'm gonna show you a couple of video examples of my postictal stage which is probably gonna be different from a lot of uh, your postictal or someone you know's postictal phase. It's just my own personal experience. Uh, go ahead and comment down below what yours is like, if it's different or if it's just like mine. I'd love to hear. Um, but yeah, so trigger warning if you don't like seeing that kind of stuff, there will be two video examples. One from um, back when I had tonic-clonic seizures. This is from when I was in the hospital having my EEGs done. Uh, so, you know, I had, you know, monitors all hooked up to my head. Um, the nurses were all around, uh, seeing, you know, what was going on. Uh, and the postictals that I had with my tonic clonics usually took me about 20 minutes to recover from, for my brain to reset, to recover. And those, um, which, well, let me go and show the video real quick. And then I'll talk about what it was like, uh, to have those and to have to come out of them. So, roll the clip. GD right, I did. We're at the hospital, oh man. We're at the hospital. Can you tell us your name? They were so sweet there. Love those ladies. And the dudes that were there. Everybody's great. Shaking just from saying that. Oh, yeah, get those damn wires off my head. I'm done with this study. I will post a later video where I show the brainwave activity recordings along with that. So keep an eye out for that. Hit the post notification bell so when you can see when that comes up. But I, I'm curious to see how black that screen goes with the brainwaves. Oh, reliving that. Okay, I hope y'all can appreciate <laughs> how uncomfortable that was to see and put that out into the world. So yeah, educational purposes, but ew. Okay, but anyway, anyway. Um, so yeah, back with those. Luckily, I've gotten tonic clonics uh, under control with medication. I haven't had one of those in a really long time, well over a year. Um, so <laughs> let's hope I didn't just jinx myself there. Um, but yeah, with those, I did not remember having those uh, once it was done. Uh, again, it took me 20 minutes to come out of it. I was very confused. I had to be told I had just had a seizure. Um, couldn't talk for a while. And I don't remember actually talking to people once I did talk. Um, but once the 20 minutes was over, luckily, I didn't have headaches. I wasn't nauseated. I was just kind of fatigued, tired kind of you know just um not really loopy but just kind of like ugh, i'm exhausted that happened you know what i mean so um luckily none of the terrible things i never lost control of my bladder my bowels any of that stuff um uh, mainly just um fatigue so yeah lucky with those um my next seizure which i'm the kind i'm currently having now is my focal aware seizures, um, used to be called parcels. Um, so I'm gonna show you a clip of that real quick and what my um, postictal phase is like having those. Roll clip. Okay. Okay. So that's, I'm gonna relax here for a while longer, but that's me having a, I don't even know what to call it, a seizure, whatever. Good times. Hopefully we can still figure out what drugs can, me from having them. As you can see, that is vastly different 
It is like that coming out of it. Uh, hardly any post tictal at all. Um, since I am aware the entire time, I don't go unconscious. I just kind of zone out. Uh, talked about that in a different video. Um, I just kind of, during the seizure, I can't really talk or move very much. Uh, but once the actual seizure is over, I'm gonna like, okay, I'm all right. Now I can talk, now I can move and done. Uh, again, I was aware the whole time. So once I'm able to talk again, I'm like, okay. Again, just a little bit tired, not near as fatigued as I am from the other one because my body did not convulse, did not have muscle spasms. My brain didn't have to reset really um, because I didn't go unconscious. Uh, so it's just kind of like, huh, I'm a little tired now, but glad that's over. I'm just kind of annoyed that, you know, I had another seizure. I have to reset my, my seizure clock that I had a breakthrough. Um, but again, much easier to uh, recover from those. Right, but here's what the Epilepsy Foundation has to say about the postictal phase and some common signs of it. The final postictal stage occurs after the active part of the seizure. This is the recovery stage, and during this phase, any physical after effects of the seizure are felt. The type of seizure and the part of the brain involved will determine how long it takes for a person to return to their usual self. Some common signs of this phase include confusion, lack of consciousness, tiredness, fatigue, exhaustion, headache, loss of bladder or bowel control, fear and anxiety, frustration, shame or embarrassment, thirst, nausea, sore muscles, weakness in parts of the body, injury, head, cuts, broken bones. Once the seizure is over, some people may remember having one, remember parts of it, or not remember at all. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you have similar experiences with it to mine or yours completely different? Um, I'd love to hear about it. Other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thanks, bye.